tools and resources, we're gonna actually do this physically outside. We're gonna look at most of this stuff. But, you know, basically to conduct prescribed fire safely, your must-haves are some source of ignition, torch, or something like that, a resource to fill your water and have water on hand, um, people, and, uh, you know, a few hand tools. Extra stuff that you might want to have is, uh, you know, Nomex or some kind of fire retardant material for clothing, although you can get away with denim and cotton and leather. Um, Nomex is just a little better. Uh, or maybe a, a hand weather kit, and I'll show you that today when we're outside. You know, something to be able to monitor your, your fire with. I think you all have got the message now on, on materials um, that are appropriate. You just want to really avoid the synthetics. Um, the nylon, neoprene, stretchy stuff, leggings, that type of thing are not, not at all appropriate for uh, heat. You're gonna, you'll never, well, you know, you'll never get them off. They'll be burned to your skin, so. <laughs> so, uh, here's, our, here's our fully prepared fire guy. Um, you got foot protection, he's got appropriate pants on, a, a fire resistant shirt, Nomex, gloves with no stretchy material, no mechanics gloves or anything like that, just straight leather. Well, in this case, he's got a hard hat on, which is federal regulation, but, and he's got a source of communication and some water. Um, so he's ready to go. As far as pumps and stuff, I, I already kind of mentioned this once, but using what you have is really, you know, repurposing or dual purpose of what you've got on the farm or ranch is fine. Um, as long as it can adequately, you know, do what you need it to do. So here's a home built pumper unit for the back of a pickup. Here's a uh, commercial one, but same basic components, tank, pump, hose reel, nozzle. It's a very basic components. Um, and so if you can think about it from that perspective, it's not too daunting. We do get a lot of things custom made just to fit in the various, so it's got a nice fit in the various UTVs or ATVs, but um, if you're handy, you can easily home build one of these things. Um, these guys, so these guys are ready to burn. Uh, they've got cotton on. They don't have Nomex, so it's not fancy, but they've got cotton uh, denim on or, you know, non-flammable materials for the most part. Um, eye protection. Uh, I'm sure they've got gloves. Here's, here's a pair of gloves right here, and they're all wearing something they, they can communicate with each other. So that's kind of your basics. The rest of this we'll see outside. We'll talk about a drip torch, pump can, etc. Hand tools will be outside. I'm not going to cover a lot of it right now.